What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of My Two Cents. So as you can tell behind me, most of my fragrances are gone. Yeah, I packed them all up because I'm in the process of moving. And one of the most important parts of a move for me is fragrances first. So yeah, I kind of feel, feel a little uh, naked. Yeah, I miss them. But today I wanted to talk about how to pick the best fragrance for you. Yeah, you. And you. And you back there. And definitely you. So I opened up my book of notes and shows that I've wanted to do for a while. And I decided that I'd pull this one out. And that I would put my two cents on how to help you, in the best way, shape, or form, pick the best fragrance, again, for you. So stay tuned. Cue that intro. Welcome back, fragrance family, to My Two Cents, the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. My name is Brian, and today's episode is exactly what I intended this show to be about. How to boost your confidence through fragrance. No matter where you're at on your fragrance journey, whether you're trying to get away from just spraying scented aerosol all over yourself, such as Axe. Yeah, man, I can't stand Axe. Though I used to use a lot of it. Yeah. God, those were the days. Man, there's nothing wrong with Axe. But maybe you want to step up your game. Or you're trying to get into collecting. Or you're a seasoned vet and just like to hear about fragrance-related content. Well, this is the episode for you. I'm gonna give you eight tips and tricks on how to smell great and boost your confidence through the art of fragrance. Because fragrance is amazing and the olfactory experience and senses are the best way for us to create memories. So let's get into it. Real quick guys, I wanna thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. It means so much to me. I feel very blessed to have you a part of my fragrance family and that I am now a part of yours. And for those of you who are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Do me a real quick favor if you like fragrance related content and hit that red subscribe button. It's right down here or down here. It's somewhere. It says subscribe. It's big. It's red. Punch that bad boy for me. Throw me up one of these. Hit that notification bell and leave me some comments down below. If you're a beginner in your fragrance journey or if you're a seasoned vet. I'd love to hear from you. So help me get this show on the road and get my two cents out there. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to it. So like I said, I have eight tips and tricks for you. Things that I have learned and done over my fragrance journey, which has now been over 30 years. Yeah, for 30 years. Yes, I know. I know. I'm old as dirt. Don't look it though. Yeah, keep that skincare game strong ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to help you smell the best that you can and to boost your confidence. Number eight, something I promote and tr try to promote in every episode is buying samples, samples or getting samples. Samples are very crucial to your fragrance journey because fragrances are expensive and you don't wanna buy something that is so expensive and then it turns up it doesn't work for you so these are just some samples that i got actually with some fragrances that i had already purchased like i have oud silk mood right here i blind bought it and love it i'm at that point in my fragrance journey where i know what notes i enjoy and i just love fragrances uh, pretty much all of them and I can understand and appreciate why even though if it might be a fragrance I don't like I can understand why it's out there and that there are people who do like it so who am I to judge just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't like it so samples when I first started I sampled I sampled the hell out of fragrances I would get the magazines with the little scent strips in them and rub them on me and be like Ooh, I really like that. Well, and then I would get samples and spray them on me and wear them for a little while. So, yeah, always get samples. There's tons of places that you can go. And in the description below, 
I'll leave a lot of the places that I've used before and that I think that you would really help you in your journey. Next on my list is don't buy into the hype. Look, Dior Sauvage is awesome, but man, so is Mont Blanc Explorer. I, but I've watched a lot of reviewers and I mean, Dior Sauvage and Mont Blanc Explorer and, and uh, Blue de Chanel, it's like all they can talk about when there's so many other great fragrances out there. Like Perry Ellis, 360 Red. It smells so much like Aqua de Joe. And it's a great fragrance in its own and it's cheap. So, you know, I understand if you love Dior Sauvage, then you should get it. But as long as it fits in your budget, but we'll get into that here in a minute. Just don't buy something just because it's so hyped. Go out there and find a fragrance that's unique to you. That's going to help you on your fragrance journey. That's going to help you feel more confident. Next up, test drive. When you get these samples, wear them for a while. Don't just get the sample, spray it on, and say, Oh, I really like that. I'm going to go pick that up tomorrow. No. Test drive it for a week, two weeks, a month however long it takes for you to get comfortable and enjoy that fragrance. And a fragrance is a piece of art, which helps your work of art, which is yourself, create more confidence. It's an extension of your confidence. But again, we'll get into that here shortly. Don't go just go to a department store, spray it on, wear it around for a couple hours, and then go buy it. No. See if your local department store or wherever you buy your fragrances, maybe they'll give you a sample. Which I guarantee you they probably will, because they want to make that sale. Yeah. Just ask questions. And just remember, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. So just ask. I could get some negative comments about this, but don't wear a fragrance to get compliments. Wear a fragrance because you enjoy it. Compliments are subjective. I don't, I have so many fragrances and, and I don't know a fragrance that I own that I haven't got a compliment with because everybody's nose is different. Everybody's olfactory experience and senses are different and that's what I love about fragrances. If you wear it with confidence, you're going to get compliments and then you're also going to get <laughs> backhanded compliments because just because one person likes it doesn't mean the next person's gonna like it. But as long as you love it and you enjoy it, then therefore you're complimenting yourself. And that's the most important part. Proof is in the pudding. The world is the pudding and you are the proof. So always remember that. Niche, designer, cheap, what do you pick? Well, first of all, you gotta figure out what fits into your budget. Don't go out there and get Creed Aventus just because it's hyped and everybody's wearing it. That's stupid. You might not even enjoy it. There's so many other ways to smell like Creed Aventus on your budget. And if you haven't seen my video about how to smell like Creed Aventus on your budget, it's right here. So go check that out. Next up, you need to grow an arsenal. What do I mean by that? Well, you need to have fragrances for occasions. And I suggest this to everyone. My best friend is now understanding this. First off, you need to have a signature scent. Yeah, like Lodisi Pour Homme. This is one of my signature scents. I've had this as a signature scent for since 1994. That's a long time. And I still love it. And I still rock it. But you also need to have a date night fragrance. And I love Bentley Intense for men. This is, yes, a very hyped fragrance and it deserves it. Why? Because it is masculine. It's boozy. It's long lasting. You get great performance. And, you know, I got mine at Burlington for 14 bucks. Not saying you're going to find it there, but you can get it at discounters for cheap. Find a fragrance that is like Bentley Intense for men. There's so many others that you could go for that would fit in that budget. Azara Wanted by Night. Great fragrance. Great date night fragrance. 
You need to have one for fall and winter and one for spring and summer. So like uh, for me, fall and winter, Spice Bomb. Yeah, it's not super cheap, but you can find it discounted. It's still going to be kind of expensive. But again, there's so many other fragrances that can fit into your budget. For warmer seasons, Cool Water. Davidoff Cool Water is an iconic fragrance. Everybody talks about Creed's Green Irish Tweed, though that is one of my favorites, and yes, I do have it. But if you want to smell like Green Irish Tweed, Cool Water is a great way to go. And people are going to say, oh, but it's so synthetic. Yeah, it is synthetic. But here's the thing. It's on the market. It's a huge seller. You can find it for stupid cheap, and they're still making it. If it wasn't selling, they wouldn't make it anymore. It's not discontinued for a reason. So I wore this a ton when I was younger. In fact, I still wear it. Sorry that all these are in boxes, by the way. Well, most of them. I'm, like I said, I'm packing things up. So, but yeah. Fit it into your budget and create an arsenal. So number two is going to be... Are you wanting to become a collector or do you just want to smell good? I am a collector. I collect a lot of things though. Sunglasses, shoes, watches, and fragrances. I've been collecting fragrances longer than all of those. But I enjoy collecting things. I used to have a lot of uh, things that I collected that were not good habits. And I think collecting fragrances, for me, I took away from a lot of the bad habit collecting that I did and move that into fragrances. It's a great way to create memories and I it's a great community to be a part of. And I'm so thankful that there is a community to be part of. So if you're wanting to be a collector, my recommendation, start with cheap fragrances. Then get more into your designers and higher end designers and then get into niche. Or if you just want to get into niche, start with like Manceras, Montals. Start looking at your discounters. Definitely go with discounters. FragranceNet, FragranceX, FragranceBuy.ca, amongst so many others, and they're all in the description. So go check them out. And I try to update the FragranceNet 35% off coupon every, every episode I put up. So you're welcome. But if you just want to smell good, again, find something that is good for you, fits into your budget, and compliments you. Not to get compliments, because those are going to happen as long as you do my number one thing, and that's confidence. Fragrances don't create confidence. Confidence starts from in here and up here. Becoming confident in yourself should be a daily thing because you are a beautiful human being and you have to understand and know that. You cannot listen and try to be like everybody else. You need to be you. So consider yourself an artist and your body is a work of art. Most artists will say that they can work on their artwork for the rest of their lives. They'll never be perfect but they go ahead and throw it up and put it out there and people buy it and put it in museums and a lot of them have to die before it really gets any recognition well the get best thing about you is that you are an artist and this is your work of art and you get to for the rest of your life mold and work on your work of art your artwork your your canvas if you will and that's where the confidence comes from if you look in the mirror and you're not happy with yourself, then you are the only one responsible for making a change and making that happen. For me, I always say I'm happy but never satisfied. And fragrances, all these fragrances, they are an extension of your confidence. They're, they are just a means of helping you become a lasting memory. Because again, the olfactory senses are the best way to the brain, to the memory, to that, that memory bank that you have. And that's something that you should work on all the time. 
is becoming a lasting memory. I have fragrances that I smell that remind me of people that are in my life and are no longer in my life. And that's what I love about fragrances. These don't create confidence. These are an extension of your confidence. So look at yourself in the mirror and know you're a beautiful person. And these will just help you become a beautiful memory. So that's my show, guys. And I hope that it has helped you wherever you're at on your fragrance journey. If you want to just smell good or if you want to become a collector, I think both are great, great ideas. Y'all stay healthy. Work on that confidence. And remember, you're beautiful, okay? So, until next time, happy scent trail.